Friends and family, we're here today to be a part of something special. Today is more than a, just a ceremony or an event. Today we participate in something ancient and spiritual. It's the union of two people in body, mind, and soul. So from this day forward, these two will no longer work together as two individuals. Rather, they will function as one. No matter what life brings their way, they'll face it together. In good times and in bad, during prosperity and adversity, they will face this life with one mind, one heart, one purpose. With this as the backdrop, Brett Williams and Tatum Briel now come to be married. Tatum and I first met 24 years ago on our first day of kindergarten, and we've been best friends ever since. We've had countless sleepovers, road trips, phone calls, gone through life changes, new beginnings, new jobs, heartaches, and failures. I've seen Tatum face her biggest fears once when we were on the streets of Chicago at 2 a.m. <laughs> And I've seen her live out her biggest dreams, the best one being today, as she said I do to the man of her dreams. like God has a way of putting people in your life when you need them most. And Tatum, you have certainly been a blessing to mine. I got a phone call from a girl that was running behind. Shortly after we closed, Tatum arrived at the office. We instantly hit it off. I casually mentioned that my roommates were moving out at the end of the summer, and she immediately stopped signing her lease and immediately looked up at me and said, should we live together? Rip up the lease that she had just signed. And then she followed me to my apartment. Now the rest is history. We've been best friends ever since. You are the most loyal friend that I've ever had. And I know that I can always count on you, no matter what. And I know that Brett is a lucky man to have a wife and a best friend in you for life. went into labor the night of the Super Bowl. You were born early the next morning. It must have been a sign that there was a quarterback in the future. I watched you play in the yard with Tanner. I watched you play soccer, dance in recitals, play basketball at St. Paul's, played varsity basketball at Newburn High where you were all conference, watched you on the drill team in your senior year.
this summer. Brett's been my best friend for about 15 years now. I remember the day that this friendship truly blossomed. Brett and I were having a very intellectual, very, uh, very deep conversation about Chewbacca noises. So <laughs> we're going back and forth about who makes the best Chewbacca noises. You just want me? You want me to do it? All right. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, thank you. I won. Um, ever since that day, uh, everything kind of blossomed from there, so that kind of tells you what Brett looks for in a friend, I guess. Give me something. I'm about to lose my mind. Cause when I see you. Brett is the most relentlessly, like unwaveringly, Sometimes blindly, everybody back there can attest to that. Positive person in the world. And um, to, to kind of talk about the, the, the blind positivity he, he gets sometimes. Uh, we were 16 years old. Uh, Mr. Mark and Miss Cindy used to have a, a badass gun. We took it out one day, just me and him. Um, so we decided we want to go to Merchants. It's a gas station in New Bern. He kind of fishtails into it, throws it in reverse, rips the entire landing thing off the back of that boat. First thing that came to my mind really was uh, Mr. Mark telling Brett, there's one thing that I love more than you, and it's this boat. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, this is really bad because we really messed this thing up. Like it was, it was falling off. So um, Brett decides that he's going to get the boys over. We're going to play some basketball. I don't think that's gonna fly. At this point, Mr. Mark had been out on the golf course all day. Um, I guess Brett was banking on him having a good round or something and not caring that we just destroyed the back of his boat. So, <laughs> anyway, so Brett goes out, tells his dad, um, I'm back in the room playing PlayStation or whatever it is. And uh, he comes back to me, he's like, yeah, man, we should probably head home. This is, uh, he's, he's pretty pissed. So I, I do the, turns out, basketball game didn't happen, but to me that kind of just shows like in a terrible situation, Brett just kind of tries to make the best out of it, never really sees like the worst that can happen. Sometimes that's not the right way to approach it. I first met Brett about 13 years ago when he showed up at our house. There was a basketball challenge in our driveway, a game of basketball to 21. Tatum only had to score one point. The score was 20 to nothing, and Tatum threw one in. In football, they would call it a Hail Mary. They played a second game because Brett figured she couldn't do it again, and Tatum threw one in again. I would call that destiny. Every single summertime. Brett, you know how big of a dreamer Tatum is. And I love how you always support and encourage her dreams, no matter how big they are. Because she knows when she calls me, I usually talk her back into reality and I propose to Tatum on stage. Um, but what you didn't know is a couple days before the concert, Tatum called me for our daily chat and how she didn't really want to go because it was going to rain. and. But she stopped mid-sentence and she was like, oh my gosh, but what if Brett proposes to me on stage? And my reality talk, I said, Tatum, there's no way. Like, people ask all the time, there is just no way. Well, sure enough. And the next day, Brett calls me with this plan to propose on stage. And here we are today. Every single summertime. Hey baby, deep breaths. You are perfect. I cannot wait to see you walking down the aisle toward me. I believe I'm a man with a heart that's a little offbeat. Between the flesh and the bone that I'll never find a Brett, there are no words to express the thoughts and emotions I'm feeling. The 16 year old me would be so weak at the knees if she knew that we would be where we are today. In a bar that's with all the false I told you a long time ago you were my soulmate. 
And I woke up so happy this morning just thinking about spending the rest of my life with you. You got a lover. The love I have for you is indescribable, and I can't wait to watch the rest of our lives together unfold. I love you more than anything. See you at the aisle. Love, Kate. I hope today is everything you want it to be. You deserve the best because you are the best. I love you with every ounce of my being, Tatum, and I cannot wait to be your husband. I'll see you at the altar. I believe every day I'm a burden and I gotta behave. Cause your love is a sermon that I gotta start learning by the end of the day. Now you see, I don't mean to be a strong to run away, and I don't need to be out chasing And I love you, Tatum. You're so special to me. Just walking you down the aisle put a big smile on my face. You got a lover like a religion. You got to shut your mouth. Who's giving this woman to be married to this man? A mother You gotta take her back to the beginning. You gotta love I Brett, take you to to be my wife. I take him, take you Brett to be my husband. To have and tell <laughs> For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cure. Till we are parted by death. You got a lover, like a religion. If you'll let me, I'd like you to give you a gift. Can we do that right now? To be I know what you're thinking. It's a rock, right? But it's it's more than a rock. It's a reminder. It's a reminder to build your house on the firm foundation of Christ. You've got to love I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And all that I have. I honor you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. I now pronounce that they are husband and wife. Brett, you may kiss your bride. It was coming down in sheets. You were staring back at me. It was dark, but I could see. And I love you, Herman. You're, spo you're so special to me. You made some big, big plans with my daughter. I pray they're blessed for eternity. And I love this day. It's a very special day to your mom and me. Something was holding me down. I knew better. And still I spun you around. I'm so happy for you both. And I'm so excited to watch your relationship continue to grow and strengthen. You both possess such an important characteristic in a relationship, and that is, at the end of the day, you both always choose to want love one another. When they're in love. One of the other things that you are definitely known for is how athletic you are. It was down Probably one of the most memorable moments was when we were in college and you made that unbelievable Superman diving, flipping catch. That made it, yes, that made it on ESPN's top 10 plays of the week. Ever since I've known you, you've always been there for Tatum. And just like that Superman catch you made, it makes me so happy knowing that Tatum has her very own Superman in her life to take care and watch over her. We were dancing in the street like people do. Dancing in the street, hiding the truth. Dancing in the street like people do. 
when they're in love. The love that you have for each other is so evident. I am glad that this day has finally come. We all know that Tatum isn't the most patient person. She always knew you were the one for her. Timing is certainly everything. And Brett, you hit the ball out of the park with the most epic proposal ever. To my best friend and the love of her life, here's to your happily ever after and your big, big plans. I love you both. Cheers. With everything going on in the world today, I, we, we need a million more people like you. You light up any room you walk into, it's what's always gravitated people towards you. This day finally came, finally. Um, Sam, I couldn't be happier for you too. And Tatum, I've known you for just about as long as I've known Brett. You've been like a little sister to me. Um, I can't tell you how happy I am for you. I know how long you've been waiting for this. You look beautiful today. My mind No more time to loom, do or die. Brett has been a part of our family for a long time, and now it's official. May your days be happy and prosperous. May your love for each other continue to grow. That's all right with you. It's all right. I've been fighting to do or die. This finally, this day finally came. Finally. Couldn't be happier for you too. Cheers to my best friend, his beautiful bride, to the Williams. Today, over 13 years later, we have Mr. and Mrs. Brett Williams. I'm a happy guy. May your days be happy and prosperous. May your love for each other continue to grow. Tatum and Brett, congratulations. Kim and I love you both. thought of you can't deny I've been hiding to you and I we got something new you decide what we're gonna do I know I, I, I'm feeling lucky too nothing to wait for but you nothing to pray for I'm Brett, I hope that we don't have to wait for another basketball challenge in the driveway before we have grandchildren. May I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Brett Williams.